<laughs> what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ellie Delp. Sparky. Sparky back like he never left. And today we are here at the range and we are going to be doing a review on this Panzer Arms AK-12, a Sega clone. So this should be a good little video, but before we do talk about this thing in full detail and our opinions about it and our experiences on it, we want to give a few disclaimers. The first and most important disclaimer, Velocity. We want to give a big shout out to Velocity Ammo. They help keep the Freedom Seeds flowing here on the channel. This one's full of Freedom Seeds, there so we we're go. doing good on that end. So big thank you to Velocity. You can check them out at our website or at the, uh, well, at the link in the description. Second thing, second, basement operator. So basement operator, our apparel line, Got Wham. some awesome stuff over there on the website, basementoperator.com. There you can find everything from merchandise to all of our links like Velocity and... Stickers. Well, stickers. And we're doing all of our builds now on Basement Operator. So like if you see something like this plate carrier, if you want to know what this plate carrier is built out with and how we have it set up, it is over there on the channel as well as like our battle belts and stuff. So go over there, check it out. Link is in the description. So this Sega tw 12 clone by Panzer Arms. Panzer Arms did send this out. They sent it out a while back and we have had plenty of time to shoot it. Uh, we got it probably two, three, it's been a while. four months ago, something like that. Um, and we've shot it quite a bit and we have some opinions on it, some thoughts on it. But before we do, it MSRPs for about 400 bucks. So the not bad. I mean, when you're talking about like super inexpensive shotguns, that's kind of where you go. This thing is one of Panzer's mini clone shotguns. They have the M4, which is a Benelli M4 clone. They have a M2, which is a Benelli M2 clone. Um, they have a plethora of like AR shotguns. They, have, they even have like a SCAR shotgun. It's like a SCAR-12. Oh, yeah. it, it mimics the look of a SCAR, just kind of like how an AR shotgun mimics the look of an yeah. AR uh, functionality. They work differently, but... Close enough. Close enough. So this is their AK-12, which mm -hmm. is their Sega-12 12 clone. All right, so for most people that are you know, unfamiliar with Segas, they're very expensive. Very. So that you're looking at like 1,500 to like- to three grand. To three grand. We were we were perusing Gunbroker prior to- Trying uh, to find one. Trying to find one prior to this review and we couldn't find anything for a half decent price. So that's where Panzer came in. They were like, we can make this affordable and mm -hmm. we can make it, um, you know, accessible to a lot of people and a lot of people that want an AK style mm -hmm. shotgun. So that's what this is. This is an AK style shotgun in all of its glory and magnificence. We can start from the butt and go to the tip if you'd like and talk. So the butt, Sparky, one of your <laughs> best part. I, one of your least favorite features. That's right. We have a nice redwood furniture here uh, with a pretty rubberized, yeah. rubberized buttstock. Kills recoil. Kills really. recoil. But it's 12 gauge. Well, I mean, th there's not a whole lot of recoil involved with this shotgun anyway. It does a good job at mitigating it. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find a pretty standard, you know, AK Three style uh, sling attachment here on the back and up on the front. But really, there's not a whole lot to it. Moving up from it, you get to your receiver. Mm -hmm. Very standard, Looks like typical AK. AK style receiver. You have your safety, you have your bolt, you have your grip. Um, I kind of like the grip. I think it is a comfortable grip mm -hmm. and you know, it is all right. You also got your uh, bolt catch. Yeah, right so there. your bolt catch right here on the back. This thing is supposed to have last round hold open. We have not been able to get it to do that. Nope. Whether it's us. Two things it could be. It's either not clean, which is It's definitely it's not pos clean. Yeah, which is possibility, knowing this guy. Definitely but, possibility. But we can't replicate it without the, like, just putting a magazine in it. Yeah. We, we can't get it to so, so I don't know if it's yeah. not. It's either not broken in or it's not clean enough. One of the two. Or it just doesn't actually do it. Yeah. But the owner's manual says it's the, supposed to Yeah. The owner's manual says it's supposed to do it. We have not been able to get it to do that. We probably have about three, four hundred rounds. We shot it a ton back when we did the very first video yeah. comparing the two. We couldn't ever get it to do it then. No. And uh, we still have an issue we found with it. It is milled. And then that's one thing. And it also has a standard AK style um, mount Optics. here 
on the side. So if you have like a Midwest Industries mount or something along those lines, it is compatible, it is compatible just like a normal AK-47. This thing also breaks down just like an AK-47. You know, you can just pop it out there and the top of the receiver will pop off. Works exactly the same way as an AK-47. So if you're looking for something with similar characteristics, uh, maybe you're very familiar with the AK platform and you want a 12 gauge shotgun. Why not? To do that, this is this is you know a good one a good one to go with while we're still here at the receiver let's talk about magazines comes with two comes with two they are five plus one and the way you load these things here oh. we'll pop some out here on the side you kind of got to yeah. you got to finagle them you put them in here and then you like tilt them back they don't just, it's not a very yeah, easy load process. It's not process. like you're loading your AR. You gotta, you no, gotta it, hold it, your mouth just right. And... It's a little bit more involved, but you what? You never heard that expression? No, I, you gotta hold your mouth just no, right. No, I've never, heard, never that. heard that expression. Anyway, you kind of gotta hold your mouth just right, I guess. That, it's not a super simple load process, but once you get it figured out, it, it, they go on pretty easily. Five plus one, it's a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. So. It might have been the AR one. I was it, it does go in easier with the bolt back, obviously. obviously, but you know, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Moving even further forward, you have your handguard here, you know, just your wood furniture. There's nothing special about it. These look like in lock pieces. But These are not in lock pieces. That'd been, that'd been nice. Uh, we didn't, we didn't try it or anything. <laughs> Moving even further forward, you have an adjustable gas block. Which so is nice, which is nice. Uh, that comes with a tool. It's over there in the box. It comes with a tool that if you are running higher or lower loads, whatever you want to need need more need more less. sauce, need less sauce, you can really fine tune it to adjust, you know, Which how you how your cycling's going. And maybe we need to open her up some more. Might that might? Well, I don't know. I don't. I mean, see, look, we even put an empty mag in. You pulled it back, and it yeah, work. it's not the gas. It's so, not. Yeah, it's I not that. Nice idea, though. Nice yeah, idea. Yeah, well, I was thinking. I was like, that's dangerous. I was, my AR mind was thinking because you know a lot of times when the AR isn't it's just under gas under gas because it's not pushing the bolt far enough back but not really the case here on our end so 18 and a half inch barrel uh you know it's a 12 gauge barrel this is not rifled or anything no. it does come with all the chokes, chokes. though chokes. full modified and cylinder cylinder it's chokes got a cylinder in it right now they're all screw in yep so yeah if you want to hunt with it you could yes put that full choke in there I'll, i doubt they're steel <laughs> rated but i'm like Go for it if you want to. This is definitely one of those that, you know, you're looking for. Yeah, what's your application for this? Yeah, your application for this is definitely, you you want a Sega but don't want to spend $1,500 yeah. on it, or you want something similar, or you might just like the AK-47 yeah, platform. Yeah, you just want a shotgun. And you just want a shotgun that looks like an AK-47 and operates like an AK-47. Maybe that's just your kind of platform yeah. you go to, yeah. you know? That's what and, you're familiar with. And, and that's what you're familiar with. This is definitely an option. Or we just think it looks cool and just, it is fun to shoot. We we couldn't keep these mags loaded. Yeah, we, it, we it is fun it. to shoot. And you know, one, one other application, if you wanted to go down this road, is you could swap the furniture on it and make it more, of a, more of a tactical AK shotgun mm -hmm. and use it for you know tactical purposes yeah you know i mean you we should. we're big fans of like their benelli m4 clone mm -hmm. and that that type or that you know you know i guess type of shotgun is what i prefer in terms of home defense or in terms of like a tactical application that yeah. type of semi-automatic shotgun but if you're familiar with the platform and you want to get good time behind of it and use and whatnot buy a bunch more magazines bunch and of them. get familiar with them, you know, practice with it. This could definitely be an option for, you know, a Home good defense. semi automatic tactical shotgun. I'm not the biggest fan of box fed, like shotguns like that. Like I'm not the biggest fan, but I've been impressed with this one. It, it's ran how it's supposed to, except Other for the bolt it. issue, but who knows? That could be a few different things, but it's ran great. The quality for 400 bucks ish is fantastic. I mean, you can, I've, and it's fun to shoot. It is very fun. Like if I spent four hundred dollars on it, I would not be disappointed. That's something to keep in mind: is it is an inexpensive shotgun. You're you're not paying a lot of money for it in in the grand scheme of yeah, shotguns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there are cheaper, but they're a lot more expensive. But there's not really that much cheaper, you know, gas operated or yeah. shotguns because most of the time, if you're getting a semi-automatic shotgun, it's north of five hundred dollars. Yeah, typically. 
Um, for decent quality. There are some, like, I guess, Charles Daly's and, like, cheaper ones than that. But, but yes, for, for $400... Semi-automatic shotguns are... That's probably as low as you can get. Yeah, that's as low as I'd want to spend. And it hasn't had any cycling issues or anything. Bolt or shells everything. getting hold up. Yeah. yeah, it has ran everything. It's Just we've been shooting load. a lot of what are these? Just target load federals. Load. We've been shooting a lot of target load federals through it, um, and we also have been shooting handful so, of buckshot. Handful of buckshot as well, uh, and it's it's, it's done it perfectly fine on all of that. That's pretty much the gist of it. We've been thoroughly impressed with it. It's definitely fun to shoot. And I, I think you should get it if you're looking for this style of shotgun. And if, if you are watching this video because you want to learn more information about it, I hope you succeeded in that with our content. We really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram and go check out Basement Operator. We'll see you on the next one. As always, peace. Missed it. You definitely shot the deer. <laughs>